Hi, it's Bill the Handyman. Today we're looking at a, oh, this is a Kirkland. It's basically a Whirlpool design. Whirlpool, Kirkland, Sears, Kenmore. So what we're gonna do is talk about first the power and the correct flow on the, on the vent. So first thing we're talk, talking about the power. So this is the back of your dryer right here basically. And of course this one's just for demo purposes. It's totally disconnected. And I wouldn't do this if it were connected because I'd get bit. And so basically you, you need to take your meter and make sure you've got 220 across these two leads. So you take your meter, want, um, of course, when it's plugged in, you go across here and you should get 220 on your meter. If you don't get 220 on your meter, one of the legs is down. There's a loose connection on one of the legs somewhere in the circuit. Could be at the circuit box. It actually could be one of the breakers. And so the breakers, this is a double breaker as you can see. Well, yeah, normally they're connected. Just flip them up and flip them down, back down again. Sometimes when they go bad, they're sloppy, like this one's kind of sloppy. So we need to check that one. This one is actually a little bit tighter than this one. Well, they're actually about the same, but usually when there's slop in them like this, then that means they could be bad. And then also you want to check your connections going up to your uh, your breaker breaker switches, and be careful because you could get bit. These are very hot waters here, and so um, yeah, always use caution when using electrical. Uh, turn off the power when possible. This one actually has another uh, shut off switch at the meter. And this one is sort of unique. It has the breaker for the dryer in the garage here. Now, the other thing we're going to check is, of course, your vents. And so you always want to make sure your vents are running good. This one is running a little bit long. I might cut this and, uh, because what happened on this one, they blew the belt. So I might cut that and shorten it down so it's a little bit shorter. And when it's a little bit shorter, then basically you got better, you got a better heater going. And so here's one of the problems here with this. You can see that this is actually, I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically it's, it's almost half plugged up with lint. And so this has to be cleaned out. Some people uh, run a brush down the lint chute and that clean that can clean it out. What I normally do is I'll just run a screwdriver and poke it through all this and make sure that crap runs out. And so that's your tip for today. If this helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591, and that's Pacific Time, 9 to 6. Thanks for watching.